What's good, y'all? This is your boy, Mr. Pound for Pound himself, and I'm back in the house. And you know, when I'm back in the house, it's definitely going down. I'm talking about UFC on Fox 12, Lawler versus Brown. This is my post fight analysis. I'm just going to get right into it. I'm talking about the last two fights of the card. You know, I'm not going to talk about the whole card. That's just too much to talk about. And it's meaningless because a lot of fighters in there I don't care about right now that, you know, I'm talking about the big fights, the big, the big, big fights that people wait to see, the ones that wait the 45 minutes to an hour to see. Let's get started. Anthony Rumble Johnson. Antonio Rogerio Noguera. That was a quick breakfast type fight for Anthony Rumble Johnson. You know, it's, what's funny is um, <clears throat> I was saying to myself when Rogerio was walking out, why the hell you take this fight? Like I was saying to myself, like literally, why did you take this fight? Do you not see Anthony Johnson? Do you not see how big he is for 205? Huh? Training with the Black Zillions? Like, are you crazy? Like Noguera is 38 years old, but let's be honest. He's like 62 years old. He's fucking hella old, like, mentally. Like, you know, I wonder what it looks like seeing through his eyes and shit. Like, I wonder if it's blurry or what. But, like, I just thought it was a stupid-ass fight. I knew it was going to end like that. It ended in, what, 44 seconds from a blitzkrieg of punches? I mean, Rumble came out and did what he do. Rumble. You know, he threw punches from every angle. Hard right hands was started it off, landing on the side of the fist. Even when Noguera tried to put his guard up and try to block, it didn't mean nothing. Those are four ounce gloves, and Anthony Rumble Johnson hits hella hard. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's scary that Johnson is not more technically sound. If he's more technically sound as a puncher, he'd probably be nasty, even nastier in there than that knockout was. That knockout was already pretty nasty, but he probably could have obliterated Noguera even worse. But uh, his stand-up looked good, and I like what I saw from Anthony Rumble Johnson. He came out, he was aggressive, he stuck to a game plan, and just his game plan was run him over, and he stuck to that. Um, Obliterated him, did what he had to do, and he's moving on to bigger and better things. Uh, You know, in, in the main event, though, we had a really good fight. Robbie Lawler versus Matt Brown, um, definite big fight. You know, it was a close fight, too, because for a second... I was like, after the fourth round, I thought to myself, I have Lawler by maybe a round, you know, because I, I gave the first round to Lawler, I gave my sec, I gave the second round to Brown, third round to Lawler, and then I didn't really know after that was going to happen. Uh, the last two rounds were good, um, you know, but it was the fifth round that I really liked. You know, Matt Brown came out, I mean, really, really trying. He knew it was close. He knew the fight was close, you know. But, I mean, there's not much he could have do against Robbie Lawler. You know, ironically, I was saying during the fight that both fighters' punches and kicks were very wild. Um, surprisingly to me, you know, I thought Robbie Lawler, especially after dedicating to his training, I thought he'd be a little more proficient and better with his striking. Um, but, you know, it's not boxing. It's MMA, so... You know, they got to do everything out there. They can't be super sharp on, you know, on the hands. You, you never really see an MMA fighter super sharp on the hands. So, um, you know, you really don't expect that of them. But I, I did think Lawler had the better punches. I thought he landed the better punches, uh, kicks. I just wanted to see him use his head a little more. Sometimes I feel like Robbie Lawler gets in there and just, he, he just muscle headed a little more than he is smart in the ring and I wish he would just fight a little smarter because I I really believe in Robbie Lawler I think he has a lot of skills a lot of talent I think that if he used his noggin a little more in the ring he'd be a lot better fighter uh Matt Brown though skillful fighter really tough guy you know I'm saying I feel bad for the dude he just doesn't have the skill sets to beat a Lawler or I don't really believe he has skill sets to beat elite fighters or even great fighters um you know but Brown is just a really tough durable guy that can fight forever. He's gritty. He's not the type of dude you want to, you know, meet in the back alley or in a bar somewhere because you're going to be fighting forever. You don't want to meet that type of dude, but he is the type of dude that you could probably beat on some spectacular luck knockout or something like that. Like, he's not a spectacular fighter is what I'm trying to say. So, unfortunately for Brown, that's the case because he's a really, he's a tough guy. He's a nice guy. He's a humble guy. It's just his skill set is not there. Um, as for Lawler, his skill set is there. I just want to see him refine things. Uh, great fight between Brown. I, I, I was... I loved every minute of it. It was a great fight. Uh, You know, they were in there banging, went five rounds, and Lawler got the decision. Um, So hopefully we'll see a title shot for Lawler. You know what I'm saying? We'll see see if maybe he gets in the title picture and gets the title shot. Hopefully he does. We'll see.
Anyways, this is your boy, Mr. Pound for Pound. Y'all have a good day. I'm signing off. Peace.